It used to be a licence to print money. But these days, the newspaper business is facing a deeply uncertain future as more and more readers turn to the internet. All around the world, newspaper companies are battling digital disruption. At Axel Springer's imposing Berlin headquarters, they are still making healthy profits. But the writing's on the wall. Traditional media companies like Axel Springer are being squeezed both by the decline of print business models like newspapers and then by the tech giants Google, Apple and Facebook. I've come here to ask arguably the most powerful man in European media what he thinks of the future. Matthias Dopfner once described the battle between old and new media as David versus Goliath. With new European rules expected to give traditional publishers more financial muscle, is he now feeling more optimistic? Well, of course, we are still a very tiny little David and they are a super strong Goliath, no question. Um, but there are other new Goliaths around. Uh, social distribution is getting more and more important. So the whole topic, whether publishing uh, will be um, a decent and uh, sustainable business, is a very open question. And if advertising money is basically taken by social distribution uh, platforms, then I don't see a business model. And that's why we have to fight for that. Despite investing in digital upstarts like Business Insider, Axel Springer is still reliant on its newspapers. Built is Europe's biggest daily paper, and with Die Welt, accounts for a third of the company's revenues. Dopfner says that unless journalism can find a digital future, then democracy will suffer. I cannot Im imagine a democracy where journalism is just distributed by one or two players who basically can do what they want and basically can take all the money. That's not going to work. And that's why I'm deeply optimistic and that's why I bought a significant amount of shares of Axel Springer because I believe in digital content. This statue is a reminder of the days when Berlin was divided. For almost 30 years, Axel Springer stood as a powerful symbol of freedom in the West. The question for all traditional media companies now is whether they can avoid becoming another part of history. David Bond, Financial Times, Berlin.